Hello again friends and we are now in the chapter 7 and we are on the 6th topic of chapter 7 image maps and image maps is a very interesting topic I have several applications that I can explain one best application is you know clicking on a diagram creating a hotspot in the diagram and clicking on the hotspot and then being taken to another image or another page okay so here's an example that I created for you for example supposing you have a website that wants to show a diagram it could be any diagram and as you can see this is parts of uh, the human digestive system okay and here if you can see this clearly there is a rectangular hot spot here okay looks like a square but it's a rectangle okay a rectangular hot spot and this hot spot will change the shape of the cursor and supposing this diagram is talking about the digestive system and particularly the stomach so you can tell the user or write a message here to click on stomach okay click on the arrow that is the stomach and they'll be taken to this page here in which they can learn more about the stomach okay so this in essence is known as the image map okay how to create this let's get started okay i have created an image map folder and within the image map folder i created a file called image map and i have two images here but just create a basic file for image map okay i have this code here and i'm going to write it all over again so i'm just going to delete it okay no i have another file this one image map all right i was working on the other file but this file is something that i need you to use and i'm going to go ahead and save this file as html okay dot html i'm going to show you how to create an image map it's very simple okay if you open this file here image maps practice okay it should show you something which is plain simple nothing in it and if you can see the title let me move this up yes the title of the web page is image maps practice okay and the sample that i had here was on this file image map but you don't need to worry about it we're going to create something exactly similar okay let's open the notepad file and as you can see i have created the doc type tag and the html the head the title the body and close the html tag i've created all the tags for you now within the body tag i need you to type the following code okay the image map is actually made up of the following tags okay first you need to make sure that you know all the tags before you can start writing code you have the i'm going to delete this but i'm just letting you know you have the map tag okay and the map tag is used with the attributes area okay this is the tag and within the map tag i'm going to tap this so that you know within the map tag you have the area attribute it will take the area attribute and it will also take the image attribute okay these two are your main attributes for the map tag okay image map and the syntax goes something like this map name is equal to okay write the name of the map and close the map so when you're going to call the map and you're going to display it so let's get started with the code okay let me erase this out okay because i'm going to write the code from scratch and just follow me okay this is how we begin okay let me delete this before i begin i want to let you know that i have already created an image here okay it's a png file and the dimensions are given here 396 by 369 notice i will change the dimensions and i will add a hotspot to this image and this hotspot will be linked to another page which i just showed to you here stomach and its role okay so let's get back to this page let's add an image here how do you add an image image source remember we did image source is equal to the name of the image is digestive 
underscore sys. Now you can just download images and save it as digestive.sys underscore sys so that you can practice with me. Okay. And dot png. Make sure you write the complete name of the file. Define the width of the file to be is equal to just be careful with the syntax 300. Okay. And define its height as 450 okay you can play around with the width and the height and of course you're going to write the alternate text for screen readers for impaired or you know learning disabled people parts of the digestive system okay and after writing parts of the digestive system you need to create an ID okay let me show you we need to create an ID because the ID will be associated with the image that will be followed by this main image let me show you how you do that you use the words use map okay this is an attribute of the image tag say use map is equal to this is same as the referencing that we learned alternate and absolute referencing remember so we have the use map is equal to I created this ID DIG sys underscore sys. Okay, that's the name of my ID. That's the syntax for writing ID and close this tag. Okay, so this is the entire image tag here. Okay, any questions, any problem, just write down below and I will be happy to answer your questions then begin the next tag the map tag okay map name remember i explained this is the syntax for writing image maps first you have to declare the image then you have to declare the image map okay declare the image and identify the image which is dig underscore sys that is the identity of the image then you have to open up the map tag map name is equal to dig underscore sys naturally okay let me make sure yes there is a spelling error here s capital here and s small here it wouldn't work okay the code wouldn't work so you have to make sure that the code is the same close the inverted commas okay and close the tag close the map name tag now the map name tag after the map name tag write area now area attribute will be defined by the shape shape could be rectangular circular polygon whatever you want okay i am just going to go with the rectangle okay the toughest part of creating the image map is to define the coordinates okay coordinates is very tough because you need to eyeball it you need to estimate where exactly how big okay because i want my students or my user whoever is using my site to be able to point to the stomach area of the image okay and this these are the coordinates that i was able to define you can play along and you can make these bigger and smaller so what i just did was area shape is equal to i'm creating a hotspot okay then area shape is equal to this one so when the user clicks here in the shape take the user to this website okay and write target i'll write the uh, website address just hang in there target is equal to underscore blank okay so which means that you are linking Linking underscore blank means it's absolute link, which means it will take you outside this page. Remember, we're repeating the same attribute here again. And then alt, you will write, is equal to functions of the stomach. Okay. And I haven't forgotten the link. I will come back. All right. And then... I need you to write the address here, the link here. Just simply go to this page and this is the address. Type out this address. 
I'm not going to type it out. I'm going to copy and paste it like this. Control V. Okay. This is the complete address. Let me make sure. Did I make any mistakes? Let me check the code. Image source is equal to digestive underscore sys s capital here because that's how it is saved as inverted commas closed. Width is equal to 300 within inverted commas. Height is equal to 450 within inverted commas. Alt is equal to parts of the digestive system. Okay. And then use map attribute is equal to inverted commas open hashtag dig underscore s is small sys okay and in word commas closed all right great and then we go to the map name and this is the name of the map same as before within word commas awesome then we go to the area area shape is equal to rectangle coordinates are 100 100 by 200 by 200 this defines like for example this is the entire screen and it defines the hundredth pixel and uh, it is like the left right top bottom that's how you do it okay left and right and top and bottom coordinates that's how you define them these are the four coordinates for the left and the right and the top and the bottom points of the shape and then you have href is equal to http all of this laparoscopic dot md digestion as uh, stomach and then you have target is equal to underscore blank which means it's an absolute address linking and alt is equal to functions of the stomach within inverted commas for screen readers all right let me save this save as image map practice yes and then let me try to save it again as HTML. Okay, image maps practice, save. All right, let's go ahead and refresh this page. There you go. You have this entire image here with the dimensions given here. I'm going to explain this step by step. Okay, these are the dimensions given here. Image source is equal to, this is the name of the image, digestive system PNG. Width is equal to 300 pixels height is 450 all right and alt text is if it took longer to download it would show this text here alt text is equal to parts of the digestive system and the id of this image is dig underscore sys all right so this is the identification of this image now map name is this guy here which is the id of the image the image id and map name are the same area shape for the hotspot check this out this is the hotspot here okay area shape for the hotspot is a rectangular 100 by 100 by 200 by 200 and if you click here it should lead you to a absolute link which is outside this page and the alternate is functions of the stomach. That's what I want to see. I can insert a caption here and say the human digestive system and underneath it in within brackets I could say click on the arrow that is the stomach. Okay, it leads us to this page. Now notice this once you click it you are able to see the coordinates that you define for the hotspot. Okay. The left, the right, the top, and the bottom coordinates. Okay, and the other thing that I want to tell you is that the shapes, the shapes available for the image map, the hotspots are many. You could have, okay, for the rectangle itself, you have the left, top, right, bottom. For the circle, you have center X, center Y, and the radius. And for a polygon, or a polygon shape any different funny shape you could have an x1 a y1 an x2 and y2 parameters these are the values available for different hotspots that you want to create okay rectangular one works best for me each time so i use it all the time and it is by default if you don't define the shape of the hotspot it is rectangular or it is a square shape all right 
and the last thing that I want to share with you is the yes you can have many many shapes available apart from you can also adjust the shape of the image so that this hotspot moves to different parts if you want to move it further down you can have another image you can add several hotspots here so that the user clicks on these hotspots and is taken to the relevant web pages with relevant information